Hey Rad Reelers, JC here with Rad Reel and Fishing. You guys, today I'm going to demonstrate some different ways that I catch pinfish. These are very effective ways, you guys. And in this video, I'm going to include a lot of tips for catching pinfish. It's going to help you guys to, to just be more efficient in this little adventure whenever you want to get your own live bait, okay? So, uh, all right, well, listen, the first thing that I'm doing here, you guys, is I'm mixing up some chum, okay? I've got some blue crab that I froze that these guys died when I was out catching blue crab. You don't want to eat dead blue crab. So I got some dead blue crab that I'm going to use, uh, mix up some chum. I got some leftover, like some small shrimp you know that when I was out catching shrimp these guys were like too small to eat I could eat them anyway I'm gonna mix up some chum here you guys basically I just smash all this stuff add a little bit of oats in here I put a little bit of oil in there maybe a little bit of water stir it up really good and let that just kind of soak and marinate together what will happen is that that chum mixture will just get like soft and mushy you can squeeze it together like that and throw that stuff out there It'll stay together, it'll sink to the bottom. All right guys, well I got my chum mixture mixed up. Now what I do for my pinfish trap is I go to the Dollar Tree and I buy uh, laundry bags for a dollar. It's got this nice fine mesh. And I just cut off a, a chunk of that and I put some, some of the chum inside of that and I wrap it up and I just tie it off with a piece of monofilament throw it in the pinfish trap. Now what I've been doing recently is I actually once I get the chum in there, I make a couple of small holes in the in the actual chum like slits with my knife so that some they can actually get in there and start pulling some of that stuff out and it starts like getting up in the pinfish trap. That's when they really start getting attracted in there when you get a few pinfish in there. Anyway, um, yeah, I got some underwater footage, you guys, that I'll, I'll put in right here. You can actually see what happens when, once they get in there and all that stuff starts moving around. Those pinfish, really, they just start going crazy inside of that pinfish trap. All right, well, let's, uh, yeah, let's get on with this adventure. All right, guys, method number one for catching pinfish is going to be using a pinfish trap. Now, I'll put a links in the description area below to some of these products I'm going to mention in this video. But I've got a pinfish trap here. I found this at Goodwill. I got a really good deal on it. And what I'm finding is that this trap apparently catches like smaller pinfish. The bigger pinfish, I think, are a little bit too smart to go in there. I don't know what the deal is. I catch bigger pinfish using other methods. But anyway, the first thing we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna get this trap ready to drop. I'm gonna put a chum bag in there. We're gonna drop that over, let that soak for a little while, and uh, then we're gonna get our water ready where we're gonna actually put the pinfish in whenever we catch them. Phew, that's smelling good, man. Get this little hook on here. Oh yeah, I can see that chum bag's already creating a cloud down there. It won't take long. They'll be coming around. Man, you guys, freaking look at them down there. Just swarms of them coming already. They, they smell it. They're like, where's that smell coming from? Look at them. They're coming from all over the freaking place down there. <laughs> Way cool, this is fun. All right guys, when you're catching pinfish, it's really important. You gotta have something to keep them lively. And now there's several different methods of doing this, okay? Of course, you can purchase a bait bucket that has like holes in it and where you throw it over and you just keep it in the water. That'll keep them alive. Another way, if you don't have an aeration system, all right? Now this is kind of a primitive method, but you can actually just put water inside of your five gallon bucket, put the pinfish in there. And like, you know, every 10, 15 minutes, maybe five minutes, every time you think about it, just put your hand in there and just swish the water around and that will aerate the water and it'll keep those pinfish alive. All right. Now the method I'm going to use today, this is my, uh, my proven method for keeping pinfish alive. It works really well. I've got a video, you guys, on how to keep bait alive for days and days and days. I'll put a link up here on this video to that. You can check that out. But I always use an aerator, you guys, just a, a Hush Bubbles or, or whatever. This is from Marine Metal Products. They make good aerators. Um, I've got it in the plastic clamshell case. Took me a while to learn that little lesson. But here's a tip, you guys. And I like to do this, especially right now. It's during the summertime. But these are frozen bottles of water, okay? I've got three of them in here. Now what that's going to do is that that's going to cool this salt water down when I put it in there. I mean, right now, guys, it's freaking, look, 
it's 90 degrees out here i'm freaking burning the heck up it's like noontime summertime heat and so what i want to do is i want to be able to keep this water cool it'll keep the bait alive a lot longer so i've got these three frozen water bottles in here i'm going to put some salt water in here i like to put plenty of water in here because what's going to happen is these pinfish they're going to poo and everything else and so before i leave here i'm going to switch this water out but once i put them in there you'll see this water color is going to change after about a half hour because they just do what they do all right well let's get some salt water in here so we can get ready to put our pinfish in there now for doing that i've just got a five gallon butt bucket i've got a rope attached to it i'm just going to flip that thing over there like that get some water in there it doesn't you know it's pretty easy all right, so I got enough water in there for starters. Before I leave here, I'll put water probably up to about this line because I'm going to keep these guys alive for several days. Now, I want to get my aerator rigged up and uh, so I can pull some of these pinfish up in this trap here in a minute. All right, it's running good. That pinfish trap has definitely got their attention, that chum down there. They're swimming all around it. It's only been down there about five minutes, long enough for me to get that cooler filled up. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and grab a reel and rod. And since I got some chummed up, I can see them swimming around the trap. They haven't actually gone in the trap, but we can catch some that are hanging out around the trap too. All right guys, so I made a video a while ago about how to rig up to catch pinfish with hooks and sinkers, but I'm using really, really small hooks. I'll put a link in this video. You guys can go check out that. But basically what I've done here is I've got two hooks on here with a sinker at the bottom. I find the sinker at the bottom, you can feel the bites better. And uh, we're just gonna use some shrimp and some squid for bait here. When you're fishing for pinfish, you want really, really small pieces on the end of your hooks, okay? They don't need to be big at all. These pinfish have super small mouths. So just a little bitty piece of shrimp will do the job. Now, squid stays on the hook better than shrimp. It's a little more difficult because you gotta cut it up in little pieces with a knife and it's really slimy. But shrimp is an excellent bait for catching pinfish. And I can assure you, guys, it's gonna take all of, all of like three seconds to catch a fish. Look at that, had one already. There are so many of them down there right now. They are all chummed up. Look, here we go. That, that took like literally no time at all. Now that's a little mangrove snapper. You don't want to keep that guy. You get in trouble if you get caught with him. He has to be a, a legal size limit to keep the snappers. So I still got a little piece of shrimp on there. Throw that back out there. Just gonna throw it out with the one hook. They freaking clean me out quick. You guys, the longer shank hooks are better. The sabiki rigs have really little short shank hooks on them. And uh, they're, they're just hard for pin fishing. When you're out here catching pinfish, man, they are just attacking this bait. These are little snappers down there. I can see some pinfish, bunch of little snappers down there, man. There we go, pinfish, finally got one. All right, nice little pinfish. I got plans for these little pinfish, you guys. We are definitely going to go fishing with these soon. But that's our first pinfish caught on fishing rod. All right. All right, guys, now you're going to find pinfish during the springtime and summertime all over the place. They're going to be along sandy areas like this that have grass and rocks. You'll find them underneath docks and bridges. These pinfish are just going to be all over. But usually the grass flats are holding the most amount of pinfish. And that's why there's so many of them in here right here. Because we got a really nice grass flat with some ant sandy areas. And it's always best, you guys, to drop your traps in a little bit of a sandy area or, or flip your bait out there in a little bit of a sandy area but i tell you what i've already caught a pinfish on the rod and reel you see how that works and like i said there's a link up here to a video that will show you how to rig for that but let me go ahead and get these pinfish chummed up a little bit more and uh, we're going to throw the cast net down there and go load it up now listen you guys you don't have to use chum all right this is just an easier method to attract the bait in you can actually just go out there with your hooks and your shrimp or squid and start catching pinfish you can go out on the grass flats and throw your net and catch pinfish um you're gonna have to have chum for your pinfish trap though all right well let me get them chummed up a little bit more and i'm gonna throw the cast net here which is going to be the other method for catching pinfish 
I have a video, you guys, that will show you how to throw a cast net. Like I said, there's links in the description area for these products. But yeah, right up here, there's a video linked on how to throw a small cast net really easily. All right, let's get on with this demonstration. All right, guys, so we got this, this chummed up goodness that I made earlier. Pinfish are already congregated down here because of this pinfish trap. But I'm just going to give them a little bit more down here. A little bit more to be interested get them kind of congregated in an area down here and then uh, we're gonna make a, a throw on these guys oh yeah 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 yeah. they are they're congregating all around down there right now yeah they're they're, they're just going berserko down there you guys freaking berserko they're just having themselves a pinfish little heyday down there all right here we go Little suckers are fast, but I'm sure we got some. I'm sure we got some. Oh yeah. We got us some baits. We got us some baits. I'm just gonna put these out right here on the seawall. I got some snappers in there. I don't want to keep the snappers. I just want the pinfish. Oh, good one, good one. Don't get away. That's good. That is, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's really good sized bait right there. See? Nice little mangrove snappers. See ya. All right. Well, we got, we got four pinfish now, you guys. All right, you guys, for, so for catching pinfish, you want a net that's like quarter inch to three eighths of an inch. If you get anything bigger than that, you're just gonna have a mess, all right? You can't, they get all stuck in the, in the webbing and stuff. So this is a quarter inch net. I use this for greenback shiners and pinfish. In shallow water, if you're throwing in deeper water, you gotta have something with a lot of weight and probably a little bit bigger, like the three eighths inch. But this works fine for this shallow water. Um, all right, well, let's make another cast here. I see some good fish down there right now. All right, let's get on them. Yeah, we did pretty good. We got a few on that cast. One, two, three. All right, guys, I'm going to pull the pull this trap. It's been down there a little while. See what we got in here. Yeah, we got some we got some pinfish in there. We got a pretty good one in there too, man. Yeah, baby, that's that's a good one right there. Came right out of the trap. You guys see what I mean? Seem to catch like more of the little guys in this trap than the bigger ones. Listen, I think it's really important to get all your mess cleaned up after you go fishing, especially when you've been throwing a cast net, you guys. Just take time to get some water in your bucket and just clean off the seawall, you know? Just leave a place better than what it looked like when you got there, you know? Um, you know that river that I fish for snook? They actually were trying to shut down fishing along that river because people were making messes with cast nets. Well, what they actually did is they banned people from throwing cast nets along the river and uh, they made it so that we can still fish down there. So you guys, if you're throwing cast nets, please take time to just clean up your messes, leave an area better than what it looked like when you found it. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, you guys, look, the, the water's pretty dirty. I'm gonna switch that out. I'm getting ready to head home here. And uh, yeah, give them some clean water. I'll keep them alive for a few days. But that's your three methods for catching pinfish. The fourth way would be just call bait shops. It's hit or miss with those things. I definitely caught the bigger pinfish on the hook and line with the little pieces of shrimp and squid. But you know, guys, this these just make great baits for snook and grouper and snap and trout and all kinds of different fish will hit pinfish okay so yeah redfish too all right guys well listen thumbs up or appreciate it. get out there and go fishing man life is fun live it see ya <laughs>